Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rosa Designer. I hope you're doing well. Well, what's in common between a Omega Seamaster and Omega Speedmaster and an Omega Constellation? Well, they're all Omega. So today I'm going to show you about five things you need to know about Omega. Well, there's a lot of things you need to know about this Switch Luxury Watchmaker, and I'm really glad to show you about it. Well, I'm gonna tell you secrets. I love Omega. Whatever they produce, whatever they make, they are incredible. When you wear an Omega watch, there's a feeling. It's not too flashy like a Rolex, a Breitling, and other watch maker. It's just luxury. It's beautiful and it's luxurious. So before we start the video, make sure you subscribe and like to my YouTube channel because there's a lot of things are going to come and if you subscribe, you won't miss anything. So better to stick around and let's see what's going on because you always deserve it. Number 5. Let's see about Omega's most complicated watch. The Omega Speedmaster per Perpetual Calendar is the most complicated watch that Omega ever built. For celebrating the 700th anniversary of Switzerland, Omega produced a gold version of their Speedmaster model watch. There is a Perpetual Calendar in this watch. That is why this watch that you can see is the most complicated watch that Omega has ever built. There is only 50 watches produced. I'm telling you, there is only 50 Omega Speed Matcher Perpetual Calendar on Earth. That's all. Nothing else. So what do you think? Number 4. The Official Olympic Timekeepers Omega are the Official Olympic Timekeepers. They're known for their accuracy. Omega watches are regarded in such a high esteem that they are the official timekeepers for the Olympic Games. They have held this title since 1932. So it's been a long time that they held this title. Number 3. Their expensive model cost $700,000. The most expensive watch ever produced is the incredible Constellation Baguette. It has 18 karat white gold on the case. It has 146 trapeze diamonds. The movement features is the Omega Coaxial co Caliber 8421. And this watch is a masterpiece in the luxury craftsmanship and quality if you can't see closely you can see like a kind of illusion if you can't see closely you're gonna see that it's beautiful it's wonderful and it's a, it's really expensive but there's something in it there's really something in it check really closely and tell me right in the comment below what you see Number 2. James Bond's always wear an Omega. James Bond is a big fan of Omega watches. Even if you're a big fan of James Bond, you're always going to be a big fan of Omega watches. The James Bond universe stands for luxury and class. Danny Craig favored an Omega Speedmaster Professional 300 meter. For the 15th anniversary of James Bond, Omega celebrated a return to favor the occasion by releasing Collector's Edition James Bond timepiece. Well, that's beautiful, right? And when James Bond wear an Omega, well, he looks like a uh, hundred about ten or more. And the number one. Omega first watch is on the moon. Okay, let me tell you about that. This day with NASA all the way through 1969 when the first man make a big step on the moon. Neil Armstrong wasn't able to wear his Omega because they needed to take 
place of a broken lunar clock inside the shuttle. So Buzz Aldrin were his Omega Speedmaster on the moon. But there's a sad story about this watch. Some years later someone stole his watch. Well, this is life. I'm really sorry about this. If nobody stole this watch, I think it's gonna cost more than millions of dollars in auction. What do you think about this? So thank you so much. My name is Rossi Designer. I hope this video is helping you. I hope that you learn a lot of things from me and you can understand that Omega has a lot of things to do to gain his status and his luxury, right? So don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe because if you subscribe, you won't miss anything. So thank you so much. Have a nice day. See you next time.